Alex here with a video on Certified Law Specialist. I decided to do this video after getting quite a few questions from viewers on the topic of lawyers who label themselves with a certain popular term and to what extent is there regulations in place that actually controls what lawyers can claim to be. One of the biggest complaints that I get is, hey Alex, I hired a lawyer who claimed to be a father's rights lawyer or a father's rights advocate or something like that. And I went through my trial or discovery or whatever the case and to me it didn't seem like they really cared about me and I don't know, they just made me settle my case or they did something that the person didn't like and they feel like they kinda got cheated out of their money because the only reason they hired that lawyer was because they claimed to be a father's rights lawyer. Um, I wanted to do this video because this is actually an issue. There are lawyers who claim that they, they they'll claim certain labels and they will say you should hire me based on these labels. If you're a father, hire me because I'm a father's rights lawyer. And there are certain requirements, at least in Nevada, with regards to certain labels that lawyers are not allowed to claim. Other labels they can, certain labels they can't. And as a viewer, if you're going to hire an attorney, you need to determine if that label that the lawyer is claiming is one of those labels that just any lawyer can just say they are, or if it's one of those that a lawyer has to actually go and, I don't know, take extra classes, or prove that they have certain levels of experience, or something like that. In Nevada, we have, for example, the a certified family law specialist. They actually have to go and get certified to be able to claim that they are one of those. If they don't do that, they can be uh, disciplined under the rules of professional conduct. <clears throat> and so I can't really tell you what specific labels are out there in all 50 states and which ones they have to get certified and to claim and which ones they can just claim. But what I can do is at least let my viewers know that this is a thing you can look into. In Nevada, you can go online or you can look into the rules and you can find out what the criteria are for a lawyer to claim that they are a, fa a certified family law specialist. This could apply to any other types of law too. Um, who knows? Personal injury, medical malpractice. There may be other types of certifications out there that I don't even know about. And those certifications may entail um, abiding by a certain list of requirements. And so I think that's an important thing for a person to go out there and look into and do research on if they're going to hire an attorney specifically because they are claiming a certain label. The other labels that I talked about earlier, for example, um, father's rights, I don't think I mentioned, but um, I guess there are some lawyers who are now claiming that they are better at handling or dealing with narcissists. Sometimes there are lawyers out there who will jump on those popular terms, those things that happen to be popping that particular year. and it's just a marketing ploy. You know, they want to get more clients and if they claim, you know, certain labels, more clients will assume, hey, this person is an expert in, you know, personality disorders or, you know, abusive parents, stuff like that. And they'll go and hire them thinking that they're going to get a very, you know, unique experience with that attorney because they're saying they know what they're talking about when in reality it's just a phrase or a term that just happens to be popular that happens to drive clients. The fa the father's rights lawyer um, label, that one's been out since I started in 2008 and um, there, there are firms that would claim, hey I'm a father's rights advocate or I believe in father's rights. There's even a firm in Reno that claims they only take fathers and nothing, no other you know types of parents. I think there are some exceptions, but um, I mean it's it's interesting the extent at which some firms will go, you know, for a marketing ploy to get more clients, and it does hurt people. It it upsets people because they feel like they've already been fleeced by the legal system, or they feel like they've already been fleeced by their ex, and they want to get somebody in their corner that they feel really cares about them and so those labels reach out to people and pull them in and then when they go and they hire and they pay all those thousands of dollars and they don't get what they expected it really upsets them so anyway I hope this video oh by the way not everyone who claims one of those labels is a liar or a fraud there are some attorneys who will say I'm a father's rights lawyer and they actually are they love fathers and they go you know they fight like you know to the bitter end for that father 
And again, this is just a popular label for this channel. I know most of my viewers are here because of child custody cases. There's other types of lawyers out there for other types of cases. And um, just because they have that label doesn't necessarily mean they're trying to rip people off. But I am letting people know that that, that is one of the things that does happen. And it's just something there, you know, just to keep your eye on. You know, consider it a yellow flag. You know, it's something that you should, you know, abide by with caution and you know get to the bottom of exactly what that lawyer has done to show that they have earned that label and then with regards to the other labels that they have to get certified on that's just that's great i mean especially if you look into the criteria of the certification and it's it's substantial if it takes a lot of work for them to get that certification that's a good thing and so you'll be able to go a lot long you'll be able to take that a lot a lot further than uh, those other labels which are just sort of self-proclaimed. So with that being said, um, let me know if you have any questions, post it in the comments below. I am actually very, very specifically interested to see if any of my viewers have hired an attorney because of a specific label that they claimed only to feel like they were cheated. And in that situation, please post in the comments below. Let the other viewers know that this has happened to you and this could happen to them if they're not careful please post in the comments below because I do know that I do get emails from people who who are upset because they've hired those types of attorneys and they didn't get what they expected from them. So that being said, I will see you guys next time.